Welcome back to our Dream in the Woods. Uh, getting back at it again on the sawmill today. Um, still trying to target these six by 10 by 22s. And I didn't think I had any in the logs that, um, that Eric and I uh, logged uh, about two winters ago, but sure enough, um, I don't know why we did it or why I did it at the time. I didn't really think I was gonna need anything 22, but I uh, can't really read, but there's, there's about six logs in there that are 22 inches. So um, I think that there's plenty in there. Only thing about those, those are cut right at 22 inches. Uh, where the other ones were cut 22.6, so my finished post on that is uh, 21.6 at an angle. So I, I'm just going to go for it. I just have six inches extra on each end, or three inches on each end, uh, just to be able to true it up and and cut it. I think I'll be able to squeak it out of there. So anyway, uh, grab one of these nice 22s, maybe that one up on top there, and see if we can make a nice timber out of it. Got this log up on the deck here. Um, we're missing our little hand crank um, lift there. It broke. We stripped the bearing or the nut out of it and broke the handle, or I did anyway. And so I just got it up there on a about raised it up about two and a half inches uh, with that uh, two by four. Um, 16 inches on the butt, so easily get my 2x10. It's just, you know, what's the possibility of maybe getting two or getting another timber out of it? Um, it's pretty hard when you're wanting to either center that pith or take the pith out all the way. So I think that I'm kind of committed on this one just to centering the pith um, so be about like that and then just getting some good bonus material out of the edges so i'm gonna get to it Well, I made the first two cuts on this log. It is a dandy, nice and straight. Um, so it's right at 12 inches. And that's the same at the bottom. Uh, go down a little bit further and it doesn't take very long before it gets to 13 and then just kind of stays there. 13. So, always wanting more. Um, 
I think I'm going to try to do a, so it's cut the 10 inches, do a 12 and a half and see what 12 and a half looks like and then see if I can get to, see if I can cut the pith out of the center of this one with just that half inch. Um, we'll see. Hopefully I'm not shooting myself in the foot. I, I think after I do this next cut and I do some measurements on where the pith is that uh, it'll it'll tell me whether I can do it or not but I mean that pith on this side is very centered and I measured it up to be centered on the other side so we'll see um, gonna have to level that thing out because it does bell out this is the butt end of the log so anyway I'm gonna get to it these pieces of PVC pipe over the log stops huge help um, it doesn't really help me turning, but it sure does help with the, with the turn there. Um, and I have in the works a overhead uh, winch um, that'll be mounted off of this post. Uh, that that's coming up soon so that should alleviate these kind of lifts so I'm gonna about ready to do right now so So a bit of a hodgepodge to try to get that thing up there and level and everything. So that's a, I brought it up by two inches. Um, and the way I'm doing that, it's the good old fashioned jack. But then you don't want it to twist or it needed to have some pressure on the top. So then kind of jinga block that together. But um, that puts the two pits on the same same level so I'll see what it looks like after this first cut hoping it's good This side and a little on that side it's always the big guessing game I think I'm gonna take about three-eighths of an inch off 
and then that'll take care of a little it won't get rid of that wane all the way but it'll make it better and we'll go from there Okay, so I took a little piece off and that kind of gives you an idea how well that saw cuts as far as consistency goes. That's a nice quarter inch piece. And then when I did that, I went ahead and uh, figured might as well cut that six six inches off, sprung just a little bit on this end, um, about a quarter of an inch, but uh, I missed the pith here. And then I think down on the other end, I've also missed the pith. Um, so I think it's in good shape. Yeah, pith right there. You can see my finger there. So uh, calling that a good post six by 10 by 22 foot and hopefully get another one out of the bottom. So pretty simple on the second cut here. Um, this is my six inches wide. So I'll try to come in right about there, cut that top off if everything goes right. Then I'll flip it over and take off about one inch to get rid of that pith. This is sprung just a little bit, uh, like maybe an eighth of an inch right there. Everywhere else is sitting tight. So when I flip it back over, it should uh, sit flat everywhere. And then I'll cut that off and, and it should be good. So, say that now, but who knows what it'll be like until you cut it. Okay, so I cut that last piece uh, off, flipped it, and that's what my six inches look like, and that's the pith. So, and the other side, since I had centered it really well the first time, the other side is equal um, pith. So, I think it'll cut out fine, and uh, we'll see what it looks like.
that worked just like it should have. Um, I don't know if that's a little tiny bit of a pith right there, but I would say it's good. Yeah, underneath the pith there. So X right there and X on the other side. Um, I don't know if I saved that board. Actually, I don't know if it cuts mustard as far as being one inch. Yeah, it does. So we will cut a, a one by six out of that and get an extra piece. So two posts out of that, two timbers, and then I need to uh, edge those into two by six material. So get some two by sixes and a one by six out of that. So good piece, good log, very good log to get two timbers out of it. Really, really happy with that. Well, I got the skid steer tucked in here and we're supposed to get nine, 10 inches in the next 24 hours. So maybe that'll keep my cab from getting all snowy. Um, still have to do something with those one by sixes. I have a plan for that, but I just didn't have time to do it. Tried to clean up the sawmill uh, pretty good today. Um, this in about five days, we're supposed to go to negative temperatures, uh, high of zero, high of five for next weekend. So I'm not sure if I'm going to come out and mill. Um, so I just kind of wanted everything to be cleaned up. There's a lot of moisture uh, from all that snow and that sawdust, and it just kind of gets rock hard. So a um, little bit of maintenance is worth it. Well, that was uh, post 12 and 13 of the 6 by 10 by 22s. Uh, the hardest ones to get so I just have one left and I'm excited that in my logs that there is some 22 footers in there to cut some of those posts out of so um, I probably will cut more than 14 just to have a few spares and then I'll have that 6 by 10 material to then scale down if I need to uh, I have some 18 footers and some 12 footers that I need as that's that are 6 by 10 beams so Anyway, appreciate you watching. That's going to do it for today. Uh, go in and get some dinner. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you with the next video. Yeah.